all right? Now, what we need to do is to, uh, to double check whenever we collide, because what's happening here is that we need the ball to change colors, not just here in the color, but also to change colors in, um, in the script so that we know what is the current color of the ball. And if I, I have to remember where we put that, now I know that if I look at the trigger, we, um, we look at the color. We look at the color of the renderer, okay, and the color of the sprite. Okay, good. So we actually are comparing colors. So we, this will always work. Excellent. So we don't actually have to change anything. Perfect. Cool. All right. Now that we have done this, what we need is to actually add the color switcher to the objects. All right. So whenever we are on the, um, whenever we are on the, uh, whenever we want to get to the, tr the triangle, we are only allowed to use any of these three colors. So we got to make sure that this has only three colors or the same colors as the triangle, right? Because if somehow we have blue, there is no way the ball can go through this because blue is not part of the triangle. So it's a, it's a total loss. It's game over right away. And the user is going to be, uh, is going to be mad at us because this game makes no sense anymore. So we got to fix that. Not a problem. Easily done. First of all, I'm going to go in the project and in the, inside of the prefabs, we need to work on this prefab. So I'm going to work on the triangle first. And before getting to the triangle, what we need is to have the, um, the color switcher object inside of it. So I'm going to take this triangle. We actually have one already here, so that's good. And I'm going to add the color switcher inside. So I'm going to duplicate it, duplicate the color switcher put it inside of the triangle. Very good. But I also need to place it. So the color switcher needs to be right before. And that's good. It's right before the triangle. So if I move the triangle, that will move the color switcher as well. Let's see. Yep. Excellent. So uh, let me just put it back. I'm going to put it up a little bit so that we can see it. Cool. And now what I want to do is uh, move it a little bit down so the color switcher can move because it's a bit too, too high. I'm going to move it down and make it smaller, so 0 0.4. So I'm going to scale it down. Cool. And now I'm going to change the allowed colors. So since this is green, red, and yellow, I can only allow the green, red, and yellow, right? So go ahead, green, red, and yellow. Cool. Excellent. And that's it. It will automatically know to change colors right there. Cool. Now that I've done that, I can actually create a prefab out of this. So I'm going to remove the triangle, the prefab, removing it, and take this triangle and make a new prefab by just drag and dropping it here. Cool. And as you can see here in the bottom, the prefab has everything. It has the color switcher, the star to make the point, and the, uh, the triangle that will rotate. So I'm just going to try it out for now. So I'm going to remove this color switcher and move the triangle down so that uh, we know or not if what we have works. So I'm going to put it right there. Let's see, I'm going to press play. And let's see. So I'm going up. As you can see, there is a problem. You guys see what the problem is? The color switcher is actually moving with the triangle. So we definitely have a problem and we have to fix it right here. 